Hello and welcome all to Nascent Toy Collector presented by Infinite Collectibles. I'm Adam Martin, the Nascent Toy Collector, and uh, this is a show about my ever-growing toy collection. And one of the lines that I've decided to collect, because it's on the cheaper side, and I don't want to say they're cheap, but they're on the cheaper side, is the Best Action by Loyal Subjects TMNT line. These can be found, some of them can be found at Walmart. Uh, they can be found at our store, Infinite Collectibles. They can be found at FYE, I think, in some cases. Especially these that are like PX exclusive. This is the Battle Damaged Krang body from the arcade game. From Turtles the Arcade Game in 1989. And it's pretty cool. I am glad to see them stepping into this larger scale. As you can see, it's an XL. Uh, and... I would like to see this though in a normal paint job. The, just the normal paint scheme would be great for me. However, I will pick it up uh, either way. Obviously, I've already grabbed this one. So let's just go ahead and jump into this guy. To start off, best action loyal subjects, Krang. The box is awesome. I love the art here. The the you know he's got his arms back. Ah, he's being he's being hit by a turtle. Looks like the little brain in there is screaming though. Actual Krang himself. Uh, I love that one, man. That is a classic pose of kicking his ass in the arcade game. You flip it around on back. You get you know 31 points of articulation. You get a little bit of backstory here in several different languages. We see what he comes with with a just an awful, awful. Uh, <laughs> It's like shitty video game style rendering there, like PS1 style rendering. And this is also a digital render. You can really tell by looking at Krang there. It's uh, not the actual figure itself, which is totally fine. Get all your legalese, uh, Viacom, of course. We know Nickelodeon, bam, they're, uh, can you see it there? The Nickelodeon's on the box there, of course. Got the classic TMNT, looks really pixelated. And I'm, I'm thinking that goes along with the fact that it is part of the video game series, which is cool. They have uh, also have a Bebop and Rocksteady that are very similar to this that I'll be taking a look at soon. Uh, this side of the box, nothing really. On the bottom, you get the uh, proof of purchase there, the barcode. You get your uh, distribution stuff, made in China. And the top is pretty unremarkable there. Just got some tape where it's all taped together. I like that we're getting larger figures in the best action line. I like that we're getting the android. The android body is one of my favorites in the whole Turtles mythos anyway. I love Krang. I love the android body. It's so doofy. I love the fact that he designed a body with a double chin. I mean, need I say more? Anyway, great looking box. Very collector friendly. Can stick the stuff back in there. And you know what though? Let's get into it. Now look at the background in the box. It's totally the arcade. You've got, you can see Donnie's life, Michelangelo's life bar, uh, Raphael's over here. That's totally awesome. And it's, you can see the Turtles logo down in there. Really cool box. I like that. Going to set that aside though, because we are here for the Krang Clam. The Krang Clam. Man, you got some awesome accessories here. We always get the best action sticker there. Here's Krang, the little brain. Um, and this looks like a sword. This is all stuff you're gonna be able to plug and play. Uh, really, uh, just a simple clamshell there. So let's open it up. And there he is, Krang, out of the box, man. The body looks really nice. He did come with some very familiar accessories, uh, especially if you're familiar with the NECA version of the Android body. Some things here that look really similar. So first up, we'll just take a look at, he came with two laser guns that you can plug into where his hands go, is what I would say. And they're nicely detailed. Oh, shit. So I have them with me just for comparison. And first up is he has the hand laser cannon here. And it's a really nice looking. I really like the way they did this here. Uh, best action, they did it in this orange and yellow, you know, like he's taking damage, he's flashing, he's gonna die in the arcade game. Really nice, got the plug there. It's very similar. Here's the one from the uh, NECA version of the Krang body. As you can see there, it's very, very similar. Side by side here. I mean, you know, the dimensions are a little different, but very similar, very nice. Very nicely done on both both accounts. So you have two of those. We also get the drill, which we'll plug into his hand socket there. Nice little drill. Uh, reminds me of that uh, the drill car they always come up out of the ground in. Whoosh, you know, and they would get out of it and 
yeah bebop or no rocksteady comes out of it in the very first arcade game then we also have the axe hand which i will note none of this is ever used in the game though he just shoots lasers out of his eyes uh right and shoots his hand off at you uh this like well there's a fist that i guess you could say is being shot off but yeah the axe is very similar um indeed to the NECA axe you can see there um Coloration, of course, is different, and of course, the overall shape is different and everything. Uh, the NECA one might be slightly more detailed. It is from the cartoon, and he never actually uses this in the video game, so these are interesting inclusions by the crew at Loyal Subjects. Very neat, though. He also has this uh, sword hand, sword arm, which is cool. I've never seen Krang wield a sword. He is a warlord, so you would think, I mean, he has to have some kind of martial skills, right? Right? I mean, come on, look at him. And of course, he came with two closed fists, which, like I said, you could shoot those off like he does in the game. Very cool. Uh, just basic closed fists. They have the articulation there. You can see that they're going to hinge. And then we have the brain itself. There's Krang himself uh, looking really nice, actually. Very well sculpted. I really like the sculpt detail here. He's got uh, articulation on his little phalange arms here um as you can see there they have they rotate and they have a little bit of a hinge to them not a lot of action but you know enough he is just a little brain i do like the the facial sculpt it it, it, it looks like krang to me i mean i like it looks cool and the color you know of course the color is a little off because yeah he's be it's that that version again so let's take a look at the body itself he is pretty tall i've got to try to hard to struggle to keep him in to the uh the camera view here but let's see uh his head's articulated side to side he does have that awesome double chin like i mentioned uh the little antenna on his head's a little bent but he goes side side a little bit of back and forth not a lot but a little bit you know i don't remember the head really ever moving that much in the show he, it does look like he is on a butterfly joint in there. As you can see, he has a little bit of, if you can see that, he has a little bit of forward and back with the butterfly joint in the uh, arm socket there. It's, it's like that on both of them. So you get a little bit of forward and back out of the shoulder. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel that goes well, about that much there, as you can see. It doesn't quite go all the way around. It's the way it's molded. Keeps it from spinning 360 degrees. He does have... It's weird, the elbow here. I don't... I don't like that. I, as soon as I see it, I go, ugh. I mean, that's... That's ugly. That really breaks it up. I mean, I don't... Obviously, this crane would have no reason to reach behind his head or anything, but I just don't... I mean, I appreciate the pin joints, and I, I know that's how they have to operate. Um, but that just doesn't look good guys in my opinion that's my you know hey that's that's just me like you don't have to agree and that's totally cool it does look nice though when the arm is put down and straight out that looks pretty cool i think that's pretty accurate to the game the the darker spots being a darker orange or a different shade of course and you get the uh, the wrists they give you the complete turn and then they're hinged uh slightly they don't have a lot of room to move because of the cuff on the sleeve kind of sticks out it's uh Oh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's kind of uh, depressed in there where you can't really ac accentuate anything. Not, not a lot. You know, you get a little bit of movement, but not a lot. Anyway, let's pop that out. I want to see this uh, drill hand anyway. Let's let's just pop one. Oh, and there's... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself there. Okay, there. That pops right in there. That looks really cool and goofy don't you think i like it looks looks bad but in a good way that's what you want out of your crane figure so this arm's the same way as the other uh, i did just show you uh, he does have a mid pivot he does not have any like torso crunch or anything he does have waist turn and then of course you open him up like that to put the brain inside which we'll be doing here in just a second uh his legs you see he has hips got this far they go forward, um, not much, but you know, you wouldn't think Krang would be that great of a kicker, even though I do remember him doing like a weird, you know, crouch kick whoosh, thing where he would fly at you in the arcade game. That is, and that's kind of it right there. Whoosh, pretty bad. Um, and then they go back this far. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. And again, we have the 
three-part knee there and it just looks weird that that kneecap really breaks that up i wish it wouldn't i, I mean i i get what they're doing they're hiding the articulation and it's not bad i think they're all very similar to this that the turtles work the same way you know their their elbow pads and knee pads they they're they're kind of hanging out there like that so it's not like it's unprecedented for this line or anything he does have ankle swivel there i love his little feet he's got a little boot tread on the bottom and he does have just a little bit of up and down to the ankles not a lot though you guys i can see that there's a hinge there but it doesn't really move very much that's okay and i may maybe i don't have it broken loose but i just don't feel like there's much give there anyway overall the articulation is pretty nice uh the paint however is really cool um I love the way that, that his like straps are done here. They look really cool. Um, they've got like a texture to them. Uh, the chest looks great. The, the shoulder armor looks amazing. All the little details are nice. You've got these little things on his sides. His trunks look cool. Uh, like I said, even the having tread on his boots, that's really nice. The back looks cool. He's vented, you know, for the brain. He's got this uh, thing running down his spine and he has the handle on the back, which is something I kind of do kind of re remember that. So a lot of nice paint here. Like they didn't really spare a lot of expense on the paint job. The, the paint looks really nice. It's actually very clean. I don't seem to have any kind of splotchiness or anything. Like I don't see anything missed in the paint job, which is really cool. Um, and you know, for the most part though, the best actions have been clean paint. I will say that. So yeah, let's just see how we get, let's see. What do we do with Krang here though? I feel like you need to, see that the arms are in there holding the little control sticks. So I, I feel like I need to pull his arms out or something. Okay, one, two, arms out, pop him in. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, look at that. Oh, he doesn't want to close though. There he goes, look, <laughs> and there he is, man. Krang piloting the body. It looks really nice. Now, I will say, after bending the joints, he's gotten very wimpy. He does not want to stand up very well, which is kind of kind of a shame. So there he is with the ax hand. Look at that accessory there. Uh, I do notice that the little head keeps floating around in there quite a bit. He's got like a peg he kind of sticks on, but he kind of comes loose very easily. That looks cool. I put a fist in, that looks, that looks nice. Let's see what he looks like with the sword attachment i mean it looks just as dumb as you would think it would <laughs> i like it though i feel like you know crane's gonna do some fencing ding, ding, ding. like yeah on guard yeah the crane body is is just absolutely one of my favorite things about the tmnt though i i cannot lie about that i do love it and here's the laser that looks really cool we could go ahead and put two lasers in here let's see give him the full effect like Krang the badass. Look at him. He's got his fucking lasers going. He's ready. He's ready to kick some ass. All right. Very cool. Let's bring in the tape measure real quick. Um, from the ground to the head, he is standing at a little over eight inches there. He's about eight and a half. Well, eight and a, eight and a quarter, somewhere along in there. Looking really sharp though. I really like this version of Krang. This is this is really nice. I like it better than I thought I would. Once I get it out of the package, I, I like it more than I thought I would. Now, let's bring out Best Action Shredder for a comparison. So there's Shredder to kind of give you a size comparison. Like, you know, here's the here's the scale, right? You can see the scale here. Krang towering over Shredder like he should. Pretty nice, I like that. And here's a turtle. Here's Donatello, because he's my favorite turtle. And you can see that. Um, the turtles are a little bit on the large side, maybe, but this is nice. This is a nice scale. I like this. This looks really good. This will look really nice on the shelf. I cannot wait to get Krang in the more classic coloration. That'll be badass. What do you guys think? Man, looks cool. All right, I'm going to move them aside. And for even more comparison, let's bring out NECA Krang, which appears to be almost the same exact size. I mean, look at that. Looking pretty good. Let's uh let's stand them up back to back. Yeah, I mean they are really, really similar. I think NECA Krang may have a little bit on him. But yeah, very nice. And then if I'm really doing this any kind of right at all, we have to bring out this guy. And this guy, this guy, this is OG. This one just towers. Just just towers above them. Look at that. 
Let me zoom out here a little bit. Man, and there they are. There's the three Krangs. Man, that's a badass picture right there. I really do like this. Um, you know, it's on the cheaper side, and that's okay. It does flip open just like the NECA one does. Um, you can see the hinge right there. It's That's kind of, I mean, if you're really looking for it, because it's hidden really well on the NECA version. It's really the only giant difference I see. This is really cool, though, for the arcade version. I will say I really dig it. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, I mean, I think this thing, I want to say it's $37.99 or something like that. Uh, it is an exclusive. I don't know how exclusive it is, but that is what they're calling it. Um, I think you can find it just about anywhere. I know you can find it online pretty easy. So there it is. Guys, please hit like, hit subscribe, tune in for more best action and TMNT and just whatever else I find for my collection kind of action on this show. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. And until next time, have a great week. Keep it geek. Peace out.